Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Lico Buy Weekly Contest 118. Minimum number of coins for fruits. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one, I'm going to give a little bit of a, a spoiler alert uh, on the spoiler. Um, so, I did it with N Square Time. I did it during the contest because, you know, I'm trying to in two minutes. Um, but I'm told that there is an N log N solution and an O of N solution, a linear time solution. Uh, I'm not going to go over those for this problem for now. Um, but, you know, definitely, uh, you know, try to upsolve it, see if you can. The idea is just basically um, updating the future as you kind of go through them. Uh, I don't know if that's a good enough hint, but let me know what you think. But yeah, but the the N square uh, DP I thought was pretty straightforward. But of course, I stopped in two minutes. Of course, I thought it was straightforward. Uh, no offense, it's just you know. Uh, so definitely, let me know in the comments if you have, if you have issues with it. it. I don't think I saw people really struggle with it per se. Um, you know, a lot of people struggle with Q two, but not Q three. But the idea here is just your states is going to be your index. And oh yeah, um, n is a thousand, so n squared is going to be fast enough. So I immediately jumped into action. And basically, you have two things: you have the number, the index that you're currently parsing, and three is the number of uh, three that you can uh, things that you can skip, right? So and you can code this in a number of ways, but this is the way that I I, I encoded it. Uh, basically, if the base case is if, if we get reached the end, there's no cost. Otherwise, we only have two choices, right? We either take the current coin, and if, uh, uh, and if we do, then we go to the next index. But this this is maybe a little bit confusing to look at, but it just means that we get to skip index plus one more cells. And of course, if we have three is greater than zero, then we could choose to skip the current cell. So we go to the uh, or current uh, index. So we go skip this index and we go to three minus one and that's it. So every time we can take or no tick and that's pretty much it really. And I, you know that's the way that I always kind of uh, attack these problems this way. So uh, yeah, uh, we only do two operate uh, two uh, cores every time. So constant number of cores. We have a, uh, index is going to be zero to n. Three will also be from uh, 0 to n ish I mean uh, so it's not it's it's n square but it's not a hard n square because a lot of these conditions are not possible but a, a lot of states are not possible so this is one of those problems that if you write it exactly the same way bottoms up this may actually be faster but uh but yeah but this is going to be all of n square time all of n square space uh yeah that's all I have for today um for this one uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe if, if people really ask for it, I'll go over the linear one. But uh, but you know, you solved the problem ahead of you. So and this is the, the way that I did it during the contest. So yeah, let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve live during the contest now. Okay. What's that little sketch on that one? Feeling wise. Purchase I fruit. You get the next I for free. What is N? N is a thousand. This is should be straightforward, but who knows? Uh, because this is lead code and pipeline. I fruit one indexed, okay. So this would always be the biggest number, okay.
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom, today's contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.